Welcome back to another video, guys. My name is Chief Pat, and today, bringing you guys a brand new Clash Royale video. So if you guys take a look at my level right now, currently I'm level seven, and while it's fun being able to take down some eights and nines, it's actually impossible to take down some of the guys at the top of the leaderboard who are level 10 and 11. So in order to make my way up there, I'm not gonna go ahead and gem my account to max all at once. I thought I would slowly open up some chests throughout the course of a couple of episodes, level my way up, and hopefully by the time I hit level nine, level 10, level 11, I'll be able to reclaim the number one spot at the leaderboard because honestly, I think I'm a way better player than all of those guys. I just don't have the cards to match up right now. I'm three levels down on most of my cards, which is a little bit of a bummer, but of course the game's only been out a week and uh, when people drop that much money to be at the top, there's not really too much you can do. So let's go ahead and open some of these magical chests. Now I'm gonna speed through as I open up these chests and we can take a look at what we wanna upgrade afterwards, but pretty much I'm gonna be getting commons, rares, and epics when I open every single one of these magical chests. And now let's take a look at my cards and see what we can upgrade using my gold as well as the cards that we just got. So inside of the deck that I'm using right now, the only thing that I can actually upgrade is my knight up to level eight. So commons, which are the blue cards, like the knight, um, goblin, stuff like that, can be upgraded to level 12. Rares, like the mini P.E.K.K.A., can be upgraded all the way up to level 10. And then epics, which are the purple cards, they can be upgraded all the way up to level eight. So it's safe to say I'm pretty far away, and every single time you upgrade, they cost more cards to upgrade. So it's gonna be a while before we get anywhere close to where those guys at the top are at right now, because they sort of just gemmed everything out on day two. But but still, as long as we keep getting closer, I'm sure that if we're in, within like a card level or something like that, we'll actually have a pretty good chance of the taking them down. Okay, so from getting the experience of upgrading those cards, I'm actually gonna level up to level eight. Now, if you guys don't know what levels do inside of Clash Royale, getting levels increases the power of your crown towers as well as your king, and it also gives them more hit points. So it's a big advantage. Sometimes I'll play people who are level nine, and it takes like four shots for my, my crown tower to shoot down one of his minions, whereas when he shoots down my minions, it only takes two shots because they do more damage. Okay, so that's going to do it for the upgrades today. We ended up upgrading a lot of stuff. Looks like we're a little bit into level 8. Unfortunately, we didn't get a ton of stuff for the deck that I'm using right now. I still need to upgrade my balloons, my barbarians, stuff like that. But let's just go ahead and try out this new knight and our army by attacking Pierre. Okay, so this guy looks like he's got a pretty solid setup seeing as he is level 9. So it's going to be a little bit of a, a struggle to take him down, especially because I am a fresh level 8. And uh, who knows how far into level 9 he is. But let's just go ahead and start with an Inferno Tower on defense, which is going to set us up for the rest of the attacks. So as you guys know, my favorite attack strategy right now is using the balloon as well as the free spell uh, to end up taking out their towers. And he dropped a minion horde that I countered with arrows as well as a free spell. So he's actually pretty low on elixir right now. So I'm gonna use my knight. I'm gonna follow up with my balloon in just a second. And then as soon as they get a little bit closer, I'm gonna freeze whatever he drops. And that's gonna give me a ton of damage on this tower. Watch what happens. So as he drops that wizard, I'm gonna drop it in a perfect spot to where I freeze both the wizard and the tower. And now I can drop my goblins to help out on this wizard right here. And I'm actually gonna take out that first tower for free. So even though this guy does have a significant level advantage, we've already taken the first tower of the game and we're off to a pretty good start. Okay, so he dropped the giant skeleton and the giant skeleton is such a pain. If you guys don't know, it doesn't do a lot of damage. It really doesn't do a ton of stuff in general, but when it explodes, it does a giant bomb, which pretty much destroys anything that's on top of it. All right, so balloons make its way towards my crown tower. We're gonna go ahead and burn that guy down. It did get one hit off on my tower, which does like 700, 800 damage. So that's a little bit of a bummer. He's gonna go ahead and rocket my inferno tower, which is uh, pretty interesting right there. But still, that means I'm gonna have more elixir than he has. And we sort of have to decide where we want to attack his base. So we can either go for the left crown tower or we can go for the king, which is gonna give us an instant three star. Let's just go ahead and start off with our knight in a balloon and uh, save up for that free spell yet again. So unless he has something that can counter me if he uses his free spell i'm actually gonna draw my arrows at a perfect time and kill that minion horde things are looking really good as he ends up freezing my balloon and uh, since that other crown tower is going to help out it's actually going to do a decent amount of damage and i wasn't able to get a shot off on that tower so really close to being able to get one balloon hit off he's actually going to drop an expo right here to shoot at my tower not going to work as my barbarians are dropped and uh, with only 50 seconds left all i have to do is play defense and i'm going to rack up a victory against a level nine as a brand new level eight Okay, so Wizard's making his way down the lane. He drops another rocket on that Inferno Tower, which I don't know if 
I necessarily agree with because the rocket costs six and the inferno tower costs five. So now I'm going to go back on the offensive push and I can freeze both towers right now as well as the giant skeleton, which means my balloon is going to go absolutely crazy as I drop some arrows to clean up those minions. So one more hit right there is going to take it down to about 362, just a little bit of hit points left as uh, he drops a free spell right there. And then one final balloon in just a second should be able to clean this bad boy up uh, unless he takes it down. So counting down the timer, eight seconds left. He still doesn't have any of my towers, so this one is as good as done. Balloon makes his way over with a final set of arrows. That's gonna be a three crown victory against Pierre, winning our first battle at level eight. So pretty awesome stuff. I really didn't have to utilize my new towers, uh, but I guess that knight helped out just a little bit, but still a win against a level nine is pretty awesome. And uh, we're gonna continue upgrading this guy. And of course I am gonna be doing a Let's Play Clash Royale series, which is gonna be gem free that I'm hoping to start either tomorrow or the day after that. So don't worry, I'm not just gonna show you guys high level gameplay. I'm gonna be starting off that next account to give you guys all the best tips and tricks for you low level players. And uh, hopefully this game comes out some, come sometime soon. I'm also gonna make a guide on how to download no matter where you are. And uh, yeah, that's gonna do it for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, make sure you drop a like. And until next time, I will see you guys later. Peace out.